What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. We're talking about a CBS Sports radio host who had to make a quick apology. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Last Sunday, we had the LSU Lady Tigers versus the South Carolina Lady Gamecocks in the SEC Women's Championship Final, and it was a great game. And you know what kind of overshadowed that was the skirmish that happened between South Carolina center uh, Camilla Cordoza, who would push LSU's flaw J. Johnson, and all hell would break loose. Six players would be uh, ejected, and flaw J. Johnson's brother would be arrested. Uh, but fast forward to Thursday morning. We're talking uh, CBS Sports Radio host Julian J.R. Jackson. He was doing what we call a tease in the industry or a cut-in, just talking about what's upcoming. And he was promoting the Women's National Tournament that's about to start. And uh, he got a little too excited, and his description of the South Carolina Center did not sit well with the head coach, Don Staley. Now, I have a little audio of what he said. Take a listen to that. We'll come back and talk about it. Here is J.R. Jackson. This is Jay Sport Reef with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by LL Flooring. LL Flooring, every step covered. March Madness is upon us. Selection Sunday is only a few days away, and we even have teams that have won their conference tournaments and have automatic bids. But if I'm being honest, I'm more excited for the women's tournament. I'm ready for Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and the giant Brazilian woman from South Carolina that knocks people over. Forget the guys. Where are the women? I'm ready. I'm J.R. Now, head coach uh, Don Staley will go to X, formerly known as Twitter, and she would respond and she would say, What a morning. Never thought I'd hear one of my players described in such an offensive way. I'm not sitting this one out. Camilla deserves an apology. And she tagged CBS Sports and the local affiliate 107.5, the game, in her uh, response. Well, uh, J.R. Jackson would apologize. He would say this morning on an Odyssey Sports Minute as I was sharing my excitement for this year's Women's NCAA Tournament and watching some of the game's brightest stars. I referred to University of South Carolina's Camilla Cardozo by only her height and ethnicity. I genuinely regret my words and I sincerely apologize to Camilla, her family, and the University of South Carolina. He would write that statement on X. So, apology was given not shortly after a uh, head coach Don Staley had an issue with it. And and this is the thing, sometimes you got to be careful in front of these microphones what you say and how you say it and who you're saying it about. Uh, I think the, my man J.R. Jackson, he got a little excited. If you don't know of him, I, I read up. He built, uh, he built his career through YouTube. He started out doing sports stuff on YouTube, I want to say in 2008. And he, and he got... Uh, he, his, his talent caught the wind of a lot of national media and he ended up at CBS Sports Radio. So, but again, he, yeah, he, he put his mouth, he put his foot in his mouth on this one. I, you know, but I also know that there is a double standard too. Uh, I, I don't think that if, if this was a man, if this was a men's game and we were talking about a six foot seven man that may have been from Brazil and he said that, I don't think that would have been a big uproar. I just think that's the double standard. But again, that was the wrong way to describe this young lady. I'm not taking up for him, but I do know that in situations sometimes there is a double standard when it comes to what you say and how you say it when you're talking about the differences between men and women. So that's my take on it. But again, I, I definitely definitely wouldn't have said that myself. That wouldn't even that would have been the furthest from my mind describing this young lady because she is a heck of a ball player. So I'd like to know what you guys think of this situation. Uh, and is there a double standard when we're talking about describing the adjectives we use when we're talking about men and women in athletic sports? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Make sure you follow me and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I am out. Peace.